Hi guys, welcome to Nothing Eat TV. This is your host Ajay Gupta. Today I have Ajay's Infant Selfie with me. I have already reviewed this device. Today I'll be talking about five good things and five bad things about Ajay's Infant Selfie phone. So let's go ahead. So guys, first and foremost, good thing is that the phone got a five and a half inch uh, full HD display, and uh, the touch of the phone is really nice. It's one of the premium uh, touches we have on the device. The display is more over protected by Corning Gorilla Glass protection. Now the bad side is that, as you can see, the colors tend to appear a bit washed out. I'll increase the uh, display brightness, and uh, you can see the colors are good it's a full HD display but then they appear to be a bit washed out I'll change uh, the home screen wallpaper uh, to something different so that uh, I'll change it to bright red and again you can see uh, that kind of liveliness which we have seen in other devices and uh, that kind of uh, vividness in the colors uh, are just not present on the display the second good part is the Zen UI overlaid on Android Lollipop 5.0. The result is the ease of use is there. So you just scroll down and you can see a flashlight calculator, auto rotate sound, one hand operation airplane mode and uh, you know boost to clean up the RAM. These options are present uh, nicely uh, from the scroll down notification bar and quick settings options are also present so these are some important stuff which we need to use from time to time and these can be easily accessed from the top moreover the zen ui is really nice to use while a call is incoming call is there you can easily pick up the phone you can uh, easily type up a call that is pretty easy the whole thing is simple and moreover it is stable so Overall, it is a good thing, but on the bad angle is that you have too much of Azure stuff here. So you have Azure's cover over here, then uh, Auto Wizard is there, then more things of Azure's are there, Kids Mode, Omelette Chat, My Azure's, all these stuff are, uh, you know, property Azure's app, so they want you to... Uh, use more of Azure's, more of their universe, Zen Circle, Xenio, Zen Talk, their own chatting app. This uh, blot where you cannot remove, so you have to live with it. Uh, you can use other apps as well, but then they tend to, you know, throw a lot of their own apps at you. Moving on guys, the third and fourth good and bad points are in the camera itself. So first is the much touted laser autofocus. I mean, I cannot see a big difference in the time it takes uh, for the Zenfone 2 selfie to focus on an image and uh, other cameras. I mean, if you're talking about some old phone, which is probably one year older than today's time, then it will take a more amount of time to focus. But then the time taken to autofocus, it's, it's not major. It's not significant. Moreover, when I click an image from the selfie, there is... Uh, uh, kind of a uh, shuttle lag over here so you can see the shuttle lag the time at which the image arrives in this box and uh, the time it takes to click the image so I'll just click and you can see the image does not arrive instantaneously it takes around uh, 0.3 seconds to arrive and there are phones which are faster but again you can see at some places the focus is really fast but in other areas you cannot really make the difference uh, the time uh, which is deducted or the speed up process the process which is sped up by uh, the auto laser autofocus is taken up by the you know time taking shutter lag that is the thing but on the good side the camera is really nice they have removed the problem which as Zenfone 2 had that when the flash is on the images appear to be yellowish that is not the case I'll show you the images in with flash and apart from that now this image has been taken with the front camera on it too is 13 megapixel camera with dual tone flash and uh, the image has come out pretty nicely I'm happy with the low light imaging on the phone such low light imaging is not seen even in iPhone or Samsung Galaxy S6 and other devices now talking about the fourth point is a front-facing camera 13 megapixel camera LED flash good job 
so if you click a flash a selfie in a low light condition will flash on it will appear nicely it will appear sound and clear but then it's, it's not a great front facing camera guys 13 megapixel camera has to be something and you can see this 13 megapixel camera image this is not great enough i mean i had seen a better images in infocus m530 which has a 13 megapixel camera and the likes of xiaomi mi 4i and mi 4 which have a 5 megapixel front facing camera gives me a similar front facing cam image so it is good but not the best but the flash can work as a torch and as a flash with the front facing camera that is a good thing so guys i talked about four good things and four bad things about asus zenfone selfie talking about fifth bad thing about this phone would be like stretching it a bit too far this phone is uh, basically spot on a good 13 megapixel camera could have been better the image quality but uh, the front uh, flash which is dual dual flash is first for a smartphone and it can be used as torch while taking selfies so things are pretty much cool and that front phone doesn't heat up while charging or in normal usage and uh, the touch of the phone is also good performance wise um, gaming wise it's a very nice phone so you're very much safe with Asus Zenfone Selfie and thanks for watching the video if you like the video do hit subscribe over here i'll see you next time have a great day guys